A student produced this for UND's TV show, Studio One. Technology in medicine has made longer lives possible, but the Center for Disease Control and Prevention says 735,000 Americans have a heart attack each year, and of those, only 9.5% survive. We went to a North Dakota hospital where technology is helping save lives. When an emergency happens, paramedics Tim and Chuck are the first to the scene. I've been working for 14 years. And how do you like it? I love being a paramedic, yep. There's no better job out there. When the emergency is as serious as a heart attack, being fast and knowing CPR is crucial. This procedure is more difficult in rural areas where paramedics are constantly on the move. When we're out in the field, everything is, is mobile. So if we have to take the patient from the ground or the floor where they're at to put on our cot to move them to the ambulance, we have to stop CPR to do that. We can't be pushing on a patient while we're lifting the patients. One new piece of technology is revolutionizing CPR making it more effective and doing what paramedics can't. The Lucas device is a machine that paramedics strap onto the patient, providing constant and accurate CPR. Uh, it produces a, a higher blood pressure. It circulates the blood. Uh, it seems to have more oxygenated blood circulating throughout the patient. As soon as the machine is strapped onto the patient, the paramedics have their hands free to perform other necessary actions. And so we need a lot of people in a line to do effective CPR for a long period of time. The Lucas device never gets tired. We put the Lucas device on, it does perfect CPR for as long as we want it to. Technologies like the Lucas device are saving more people than traditional CPR, and it's the future of modern health care. Reporting for Studio One, I'm Eric Nelson Bradley. The Helmsley Charitable Trust has funded the use of the Lucas device in more than 400 ambulances in North and South Dakota. More information can be found at lucas-cpr.com.